वेलकम टू राजेंद्र टंडन वीडियोस आई टेक अप सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटिंग टू द मेल जेनिटल सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुली टू द सिम्टम्स एंड सिलेक्ट योर रेमेडी अकॉर्डिंगली टू गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम द वेरी यूजफुल होम्योपैथिक सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन विच हैज नो साइड इफेक्ट्स the first one to discuss is burning of the foreskin it's a common problem it occurs sometimes due to herpes of the foreskin but it does occur otherwise as well sometimes there is an offensive discharge from the penis the penis is swollen is burning the stinging pain there is also burning in the scrotum we prescribe arsenic elb 200 arse nic alb 200 a great medicine for burning anywhere four times a day for a few days i take up gonorrhea a venereal purulent inflammation of the genitals a sexually transmitted disease please consult a doctor self medication with homeopathy would help but you still need medical advice there is a copious yellow discharge from the penis pain and burning while passing urine unfortunately the symptoms develop many days after the infection as i said earlier it is a sexually transmitted disease so avoid sexual contact with strangers with sick persons and sexual contact without taking precautions aconite 30 is the first medicine to be prescribed when the urethra is burning the urine is painful it is scanty at times it is red there is a feeling of tenesmus i never get well feeling there is restlessness this is the first acute inflammatory stage of gonorrhea aconite 30 would subside it but as i said earlier do consult a doctor when there is copious discharge of yellow pus terrible pain burning day and night along the entire urethra restlessness arsenic self flavum 30 ars sulf flavum 30 comes in yellow pus please take note day and night burning entire urethra in acute gonorrhea when the urethra is blocked by pus now mind you everywhere in gonorrhea we have talked of pus burning smarting swelling in urethra the patient walks with legs apart the urine is white and turbid we prescribe cannabis sativa c a w n a b i s s a t i v a 30 several times a day four times a day minimum you will get relief in chronic cases the medicine is natrum self 200 the discharge is yellowish greenish the prepuce is inflamed when there is a stricture of the urethra that is 
there is difficulty in passing urine, the tube is becoming narrow, urine passes in drops, burning, pain, worse lying on back, we give pulsa till 30, P U L S A T I W L A. In chronic cases of gonorrhea, give silicia 1000, one dose every day, S I L I C E A 1000, the pus is thick, fitted, stinks. Bloody discharge. The next item I take up is hydrocel. It is a harmless accumulation of fluid in the scrotum, a painless swelling which however is quite uncomfortable and the patient walks with legs apart. He is carrying a bundle of grain as if between his legs. The patient do not go to a doctor, they are just shy, otherwise it is a very easily done surgical operation. However, in homeopathy, when hydrocyl is accompanied by hardening of the testicles, give calcarea fluorica F L U O R I C A 30. When the scrotum is enlarged like a bladder, a balloon digitalis 30 comes in D I G I T A L I S. There are cases of hydrocele in which the testicles are swollen, hard, shining, mind you, the word shining, note it. Mark Sol 200 comes in. And when testicles are retracted, enlarged, dark, red, sensitive to touch, you can't feel the balls. Pulsa Tilla 30 comes in. The next item is inflammation and pain in testicles from catching cold or from mumps. Give Pulsa Tilla 200. Inflammation and constriction of the orifice, orifice of the foreskin. Give sulfur 200. There are herpetic eruptions under the foreskin. It is quite a painful situation. If there is inflammation of the foreskin of the glans penis in gonorrhea or otherwise, give Thuja 200, THUJA 200. Very effective medicines for inflammation, all the three. Concentrate on symptoms, make your choice. The last item I am taking up is itching. Again, it is a itching of the scrotum of the glans panis. When voluptuous eating is there, give Ambra Grigia A M B R A G R I S E A 30. When the glans panis is red, the gland is red, you know, glans panis is the gland, the top of the penis. It is itching, it is puffed or relaxed, it is sweating, the skin of the scrotum is thick, unusually thick. We prescribe caladium seg 30, C A L A D I U M S C G 30. In the next video, we shall take up some more problems relating to male genital system, although most of the problems have already been covered in earlier videos, but whatever is left will be completed soon. Concentrate on symptoms, you will be able to make a choice, correct choice of the remedy. Best of luck, thank you for visiting this site, bye bye.